What's going on dudes and dudettes? Uh, welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here. Um, my name is David. I talk about all sorts of different topics in the world of CrossFit, everything from product reviews to news, everything that you would need to be a more fitter CrossFitter. Um, and today's video was gonna be kind of different. It's gonna be a little all over the place. Hold on, I think I'm in focus. Yeah, we're in focus. Um, it's going to be a little bit all over the place, uh, almost more like a podcast format because that's kind of where I'm transitioning the channel. Um, as I mentioned before, I'm creating this new series, interview series, um, interacting and just connecting with other, I guess you could say creatives in the CrossFit industry. Um, so people that are doing things other than just being like super high elite athletes. Um, and I think just from the standpoint of like, not everybody is going to the CrossFit games. Not everybody is going to be making hundreds of thousands of dollars off of uh, being an athlete, but it would be cool to interact and meet these other people that are behind the scenes that are doing really cool things. So uh, first episode is gonna drop, I think end of this month, beginning of February. And uh, for those of you guys that watch these videos, uh, just as a heads up, the first, episode actually i'm gonna let you guys wait in suspense because um i think it's gonna be a really really dope um uh episode i keep saying that every episode but um this stuff takes time i've actually been working on this for like the last three four months uh just kind of working on learning how to create you know documentaries and interviews and things like that because i've never really done anything like that before but um production or we're gonna be filming on the 24th so um, that is going to be, uh, what, two, three weeks from now. Um, and then editing and stuff like that. It's going to take some time. So I'm shooting for end of January, beginning of February for that to drop. So make sure to stay tuned for that. And it's going to be cool too. This is, I guess, as a hint, uh, it's going to be somebody that previously was working with HQ. Um, I'm not going to tell you who it is, but, uh, if you guys have any questions for somebody that had, has been working for HQ, um, and you just want to find out more about what CrossFit HQ is like, leave some comments of questions down below and I'll make sure to, um, uh, include those questions in the interview or try to at least include those questions in the conversation that we have. So, uh, we've got the venue picked out, which is going to be super, super dope, super dope place in Santa Cruz. Um, and then, yeah, then we just need to film. So that's pretty much it. Um, also with that me has meant that I've had to get more equipment for doing this kind of thing. So um, let me show you guys what I updated my camera to um, because you guys have never seen that. So you guys can't see this, but I just got this new monitor. Actually, you guys can see this, but I just got this new monitor here uh, to attach to my camera because I don't have a flip out screen. So now I do have a flip out screen that I can use to um, film everything that I need to film cinematic wise. So I don't always have to like be behind the camera and not actually <coughs> be able to get like interesting angles. So that's super dope. Um, I also need to get some like mic equipment. I might rent some of that stuff, but it's just like all these costs add up, but it's fun. It's fun learning new things. I mean, especially when I started this channel, it was all kind of focused more on my own training, but I kind of want to stay away from that um, and move towards um, other types of content and include other people onto the channel and it just not be focused on myself. So that is that. Um, with the new year also, I'm just gonna be touching on topics, nothing in particular, but uh, with the new year, I've decided that I also wanna focus on my gut health this year. Uh, as I get older, I'm realizing that digestion plays a big, big part in regards to general performance. You know, for example, if you're eating too much sugar, um, you're probably going to experience crashes throughout the day. Um, and so I, one thing that I've been, I, I mentioned this before, but I tried to, eat keto-ish, so I don't, I try not to hit more than 150 grams of sugar in a given day. Um, and that's just kind of something that's been working for me as far as like maintaining and losing weight. Um, and uh, I'm shooting for 195, I have a few more, I have about like 10 more pounds, I, I would say, 
eight to 10 pounds before I hit that uh, previously at 213. Um, so it's been a slow progress, but it's been continual and consistent. So I'm not gonna complain about that. Um, but with that, uh, something that I just picked up is the Onnit Gut Health um, 15 day pack. Uh, it's got all sorts of different stuff that helps with digestion. Um, it helps to break down and absorb nutrients, supports your immune system, um, helps increase uh, or support healthy gut flora. So making sure that you have a good amount and diverse amount of bacteria in your um, intestines and uh, also helps with digesting major, major macronutrients. So like making sure that you're actually absorbing what it is that you eat. So I will definitely do a full comprehensive like review on this on my thoughts as far as like after 30 days because I think it's going to take some time for me to be able to actually experience um, any sort of like changes like it's not gonna like I've only been taking this for like uh, three days now so I don't I really expect to, to experience anything like overnight I think between that 60 30 to 60 day window that's when I'll actually see the difference in things I mean, as far as like price goes, it's not super expensive either. It's about uh, 35 bucks for 15 packs. Um, and the packs, well, I guess you could say this is a little bit expensive, but uh, this is what the packs look like. Um, also, if you guys see me looking at, I'm trying to look at the, the lens, but I'm also looking at the, um, the monitor. So if you see my eyes wandering, that is why. Uh, but this is, what, this is what the packs look like. Um, and it's got about, I think, six pills. Let's see. It's got about uh, seven capsules in a pack. So it's quite a bit of um, capsules in a pack, but um, it's definitely uh, something that's worth checking out if you're interested in improving your health and fitness because it's not just about um, how much weight you move. It's also about how you're absorbing the nutrients in your body. So looking forward to experience um, that whole, uh, change in, uh, nutrition as far as aspect goes. Another thing as far as nutrition goes that I've been experiencing is the, uh, today I picked up the Bang, uh, hazelnut keto coffee. Like I said, I try to eat keto ish, uh, throughout the week, low carb. Um, this is the Haze, heavenly hazelnut high protein coffee. It's got about 20 grams of protein, which is nice because the typical bang uh, drinks, if you've ever drunk, drank in, drunk in those, um, they do have a lot of, um, they have a, a, a decent BCAA ratio, the two to one to one that I mentioned in my previous video, um, but there's no, not a whole bunch of like protein in it. Um, so this is nice because not only do you get the caffeine, but you also get the protein. So I wouldn't necessarily drink this intro workout. I don't really like, um, I don't even think there's dairy in here. Uh, there's whey, well, yeah, there's whey. So there is dairy, milk, protein, concentrate. Um, there is dairy. So I'm not a huge fan of like drinking uh, protein during workouts. If anything, I'll drink, well, I'll drink BCAAs or um, a like a pre-workout or um, if I'm not as concerned about carbs, then I will drink like a, a carb uh, energy workout but outside of that i try not to uh just because i don't like that full feeling but um it's not bad i mean honestly um i mean you're paying what did i pay i don't even have my receipt let me find out how much i paid i have all my receipts go towards uh my email um but i paid let's see let's see let's see let's see <laughs> Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. They didn't even send me my email receipt. Um, I don't have my email receipt, but I think it's about 250 for a can. Don't quote me on that. Two to 250 per can. Um, so if you buy a case of them, <coughs> it's no different than, like I like drinking high quality coffee. Um, so I'll drink a you know $3 cup of coffee uh, in the mornings if I don't have coffee to make. So to me, I mean, it's kind of the same thing. So if you like drinking or buying coffee in the morning, you could always just buy this, you get your protein, and then you also get the caffeine, or you can use it during your workout, before your workout, whatever you wanna do. It's your life, I'm not gonna tell you what you wanna do. 
Um, and that is that. Also, as far as the, the product end of things go, I just, whoa, I just picked up the Rogue, I, I showed this in a previous video, but um, I picked up the Rogue um, uh, weight belt. What is this called? I'm, I'm like blanking right now. Uh, the Rogue weight belt. Let me double check. Also, if you don't have the Rogue app on your phone, you're doing something wrong. Uh, download that ASAP because uh, they have a really cool tracking system that you can use to track your packages, um, order history, all sorts of different things. Um, what did I order? What is this? What is this? Also, I'm not going to edit this at all. This is all going to be just uncut footage. Um, so I ordered this back in December. Nope, that's the wrong order. I ordered this back in November. Yeah, so this was the Rogue Nylon 5 inch belt. Uh, and this came out to about uh, 22.65. So not, not that bad of a deal if you're looking for a uh, nylon belt. Um, cool thing about this is uh, it's Velcro, so it's easy. Like if you're in a workout, it's easy to put, um, tighten, it's easy to loosen. Um, it's, I will say that the, the quality is great on this, I will say, but it's not going to be to the same degree as a like leather belt, leather, le leather lever belt. Um, obviously over time, the Velcro is gonna wear out. There's also other factors, like if it's wet, things of that nature, um, that might affect how tight it feels. Um, but so far it's been pretty great. I, this is the medium, uh, medium belt. It just cut off on me guys. Sorry. Um, so this is the medium belt that I ordered and, um, uh, I'm about, again, like I said, I'm about to 200, 205, um, on any given day. Um, and that works perfectly fine. If anything, I think you probably want a little bit of a tighter fit for your belt, just because when you think about if you're going for like a one rep max, you want that pressure up against your abdomen as you're pushing out so that, you know, to kind of help reinforce so that you don't end up caving in. Um, so I've been really enjoying that. I've been using that for about two months now. Prior to that, I never really used belts. Um, actually, I wore that when I PR'd my clean and jerk. Um, what was it, two weeks, a week ago? Yeah, a week ago I was doing maxes. Um, and so with that meant uh, typically I don't wear that. My coach was like, Hey, put your belt on. So I put my belt on, uh, the week before I missed two, oh, no, I missed <coughs> 103 No, I made 103. I missed 104 kilos. And then, uh, the week after, so this last week, uh, I hit 106, I hit a 104 clean and jerk. And then I hit a 106 clean. I know I'm not the strongest guy in the world. Uh, I've just started weightlifting, but uh, it was pretty dope. Um, and I had no issues as far as like caving or anything like that. Um, it was just the jerk that I had missed. Um, I probably could have jerked more if I weighed more, uh, but with the cut, I've definitely felt the uh, decrease in strength uh, in a lot of aspects, but that that is that. Um, what else do we gotta talk about? There's one another thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, and that is a few, actually a few other things that I, I, I was going to bring up, um, new programming. So I did this in the past before, um, and hold on, let me turn on autofocus cause I am moving around. I think it's on autofocus. Oh, Ooh, there we go. <sighs> there we go. So, um, I used, uh, I have always followed different programs throughout the year or over the past year, couple of years um, in regards to CrossFit and training and stuff like that. I've done everything from Misfits, I've done Comp Train, I've done, um, what else have I done? Misfits, Comp Train, Icon Athlete, uh, Hybrid Performance. And uh, something that I've been trying to do or kind of played around with was sharing that programming with other people so that if they wanted to try out that program, they could get a taste of it beforehand. Um, and so I did that in the past with hybrid performance 
and I had a few people that uh, had followed the programming. Um, the format wasn't the greatest because I was using Beyond the Whiteboard, which I like. I definitely like a lot of the different features that are built into it, but it's not the easiest as far as inputting those those workouts into the system. Um, so I cut that out, but I kind of want to do it again. So what I'm going to be doing uh, for this, <coughs> uh, let me let me take a step back from that. Um, so I just started the um, Games Lab engine builder program. So I s just purchased that and I'm gonna be starting that with my next weightlifting cycle so that I can have my strength building as well as my engine capacity building. Um, I've been doing a lot more CrossFit, but I want something a little bit more structured that's going to have a little bit more of that linear progression, progressive aspect. Uh, so over the next, uh, it's built, it's broken up into different um, uh, components. So uh, let me pull that up for you guys. Um, Gains Lab. Oh, Gains Lab. <clears throat> Uh, so it's Gaines Lab, the engine. Uh, the guy that runs Gaines Lab, his name is uh, his name is uh, Knowledge, and I can't even find out where this guy's name is. Um, the guy that runs Gaines Lab was is or was a former games competitor. Um, his name's Matthew Webke. Uh, he was at the 2016 CrossFit Games. He competed in the 40 to 40 age group where he finished 15th. So he knows a little bit about what he's doing, I would assume, um, in regards to getting to the games. Uh, but he has, um, he has uh, this whole program called the Games Lab where he's helping other athletes improve their strength and conditioning for CrossFit. So uh, one of the programs he has is the Engine Builder uh, or the capacity uh, program, which is which I'm going to be running, um, and it's broken up into uh, three different phases. So you have the uh, foundation, which is the engine builder, and then you have the polarization, um, and then you have differentiation. Differentiation. The engine builder or the foundation is just kind of getting you to used to the feeling of just high work capacity. Um, and polarization is going to be specified as it's re as it's described uh, specialized intensity distribution uh, with endurance style training and high intensity interval work and then differentiation is um, a series of progressively challenging interval and endurance workouts to raise your race pace um, so everything kind of overlaps on top of each other to give you all aspects of um, high intensity interval training. Um, and so, uh, well, the way it works is, so the first foundation section, you get, uh, four weeks, four weeks of, of workouts, uh, sent to you as a PDF. And then you, on top of that, you get, uh, five days for those four weeks of workouts. Um, sorry. Also, if there's like people at my house right now that are having some fun so if you hear noises in the background that's them um, but you get uh, five days of programming the fifth day is optional um, so it's just really just kind of getting you into the motion of experiencing that fire breathing or getting those 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 free hand lungs getting you to a place where uh, you can work um, and then on the next two phases so the uh, polarization and the differentiation, the fifth day is no longer optional. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it because I need to improve my conditioning, especially with the CrossFit Open coming up within what? Less than a little over a month. So I'd like to get as much conditioning in as possible because most of my time over the last year has really been spent with weightlifting. I kind of really cut off CrossFit so I can work on drilling down on my technique, uh, specifically uh, snatch, clean and jerk. And that's pretty much all I've been doing uh, three to five days a week is just snatch, clean and jerk, and then um, different components of the snatch, clean and jerk um, broken down. 
And so now I think I'm getting to a point where I would like to test that a little bit more, um, get back into CrossFit um, competitions, which is something that I didn't really do this last year. The previous year I would do online competitions and stuff like that, but I kind of phased out of doing that just with um, uh, just kind of making the switch to building that strength. And so I'm at a place now where I really feel a lot more comfortable. I'm hitting numbers way more consistent than I've never hit before strength wise. And that's all been just kind of related to uh, working with a coach specifically, as opposed to um, uh, just kind of doing just CrossFit workouts every single day and just hoping that you hit PRs, but actually training to hit PRs has been pretty nice. So um, that's been that's been really fun with that. Um, and then that's, that's kind of it as far as like, what's, what's going on, what's happening in the future. Lastly, I wanted to kind of touch on something that seems to have been on some, uh, content creators radar as far as like topics and stuff like that. And that comes from these quote unquote influencers. Um, a lot of people are kind of, obs well, one individual specifically, um, uh, obese to beast, John. Um, I, I love his content. He's a super dope creator. I've, he was probably one of the reasons why I started my channel. Him along with um, John Connie, along with uh, Team Richie, 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 Craig Richie. Uh, those guys have been pretty influential in regards to getting me into doing vlogs and things like that. Um, and one of the things that he's kind of been harping on the last couple of weeks is like influencers pushing products and kind of the one thing that kind of set me off this last week was, uh, he had this Twitter post where he said, what did he say? Um, ooh, he mentioned, sorry guys, I'm all over the place. Um, if you have a large following and intentionally try to sell them something you know doesn't work, you are a bad person. And I don't think he's wrong in regards to his response to these individuals, but I do think he's wrong from the standpoint of how he's addressing these people because I, for myself, I, I really don't wanna get into this whole like world of like CrossFit drama or YouTube drama or YouTube beef. Like I have no problems with anybody. Uh, I'd love to connect with him and interview him for the this new video podcast series. Um, but I think as content creators, we should all be focusing on um, our craft. We should be focusing on our message and not really focusing on what other people are doing. Uh, I don't watch all of John's stuff. I do follow him on social media, on Twitter, on Instagram, as well as on YouTube. I don't watch every single thing. The same thing goes with everybody. Like I don't watch everybody's stuff because I have my own stuff that I'm working on that I want to push out. And the more I focus on what other people are doing and trying to, um, I guess, I don't wanna say hate because it, 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 it's true what he's saying. Like. People shouldn't be trying to sell products to people that don't actually work. But instead of focusing on the, the wrong things that, are, that other people are doing, focus on putting out better content, good content, um, connecting people with good products that actually work. Um, and so like I, for myself, um, you know, I do use affiliate links and stuff like that. I do make a little bit of money off of that. It's nowhere near enough to like live off of. This is not something I do full time. Hopefully at some point I'll be able to move into doing content creation full time. But, um, you know, this, anytime I, I share things with people, it's because I test it. I show you guys exactly what it is that I'm doing. Um, I share with you guys my thoughts, what I like about it, what I don't like about it. And I tell you guys if I'm biased towards something uh, or not. Um, either way, I let you guys decide to purchase it. Um, I know I don't have the biggest audience in the world, but I do have some videos that have, you know, reached a lot of people. I have a, you know, one video that's hit 100,000 view, has 100,000 views. I have a few videos, more than a few videos, handful of videos that have well over a thousand views. So people watch this content. So I try to be as objective as possible in regards to making sure that you guys have the, the full range of information to make 
the best decision as to whether or not you should purchase this or not. But at the end of the day, it comes down to you. Like I try to educate you guys as much as possible so that if you do purchase it, you can't blame it on me because I gave you guys all the details and I shared with you guys whether or not I think it's worthwhile purchasing. So um, I think my message to him, John, if you ever watch this, if you are watching this and you watch this entire thing, um, stop focusing on the bad things that put people are putting out in the world. Like know that people are doing that, but make sure that you are doubling down on putting out good content. Make sure that you're doubling down on connecting people with awesome products, awesome, um, you know, yeah, awesome products that, that you know are gonna change people's lives. And, you know, he admitted in his video that he had put out that, you know, yeah, he kind of has you, you know, share products with people and he you know has done some things like diet bets and stuff like that in the past that he's kind of you know not as thrilled about doing them now but i don't think you know for him and for myself it's like i'm not going to be wasting my time uh getting caught up with the negative things that people are trying to push i'm going to make sure that I'm giving you guys the highest quality content that I can that's going to be the most useful for you that's going to be as have as least amount of BS as possible. So um, that's just kind of my message to you, John, if you're watching this and for all of you guys as well that watch my content. That's kind of my approach with how I do what it is that I do. So, you know, all the links down below, they're all products that I've used myself. I've tested. Um, I've given my thoughts on them. I have like 20 minute reviews and stuff like that. So um, if you guys do want to support the channel, I do always say that, hey, you know, check out the links down below because it helps quite a bit um, in regards to like offsetting the cost and purchasing stuff. So like if, you know, if I get 30 bucks from Rogue, which, you know, I do make at least, um, you know, I could spend 30 bucks on another product to review. Um, so that's kind of my thought process in that regard. So like if you guys, um, purchase stuff it kind of goes back to you guys so um, I'm also going to be testing um, some new sort of like I don't want to say I guess monetization features some some ways to kind of help increase off offset the cost but kind of looking at it from the standpoint of like you guys are helping me produce this so like you guys are kind of like the producers um, and so I'm gonna I might be implementing that later on this year um, and that's just going to be a way for you guys to kind of have a more of a voice in the content that I'm creating as well as the individuals that I'm creating that content with. So, um, hopefully you guys look forward to that. Um, I think I'm going to end this here because I have another video that I need to edit. Um, this, I think I'm just going to upload straight up, no edits to this. This is going to be like, I guess, like the first podcast on the channel. Um, also I need ideas for names for the podcast. I don't know what to name the podcast yet. Um, but like I said, we have our first guest in like two weeks, so I need to figure out what the name is. Um, and then with that, I think what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna have the video version for those of you guys that like to, let's say for example, if you're at work, I know a lot of my viewers, you guys are, uh, working professionals. So maybe you guys are at work. Um, you can watch that at work while you're working. And then I'll also upload uh, audio to uh, iTunes, Spotify, stuff like that. So if you guys are in the car, you guys want to listen to that conversation, you guys will have that um, ability to do that as well. So there's going to be a few different uh, distribution channels for that. So a lot of stuff going on, guys. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy this. I want to give you guys updates on what's going on with the channel because you guys really make this channel what it is without views, without comments, without interaction from you guys. This channel would be dead, kind of like the uh, Grid League or Progenix. That was, those are low blows, but um, I just want to thank you guys again, as usual, for, for checking, taking time out of your day to check out this video. I know this is probably not going to be the, the craziest viewed video but i want to put these updates for you guys so that you guys kind of have an idea on where things are going um think of it as like you guys own stock in this company like you guys are shareholders and i like 
need to respond to you guys. Um, so that's gonna be it for today, guys. I'm gonna end it there. I got a bunch of other stuff. A lot of stuff I wanna do, kind of work on, build out for you guys. Um, and so again, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit that like button as well as the subscribe button because that lets me know I'm creating the kind of content that you guys wanna see. Guys, with that, as always, may your barbells be heavy and your coffee be black. This is David and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.